The countdown of the weekend begins, and it's a big one, Bemidji Youth Baseball. Four teams, 11 to 14-year-old, will take the fields for the Bemidji Tournament. We'll preview the teams over the next few days, starting tonight with the 11U squad. They will play Saturday and Sunday for a total of five games in pool play between the two days. This will be the seventh weekend tournament under their belt so far. Their last appearance, a tournament this past Saturday and Sunday in Grand Forks, North Dakota. All in all, though, the 11U squad is looking forward to playing on their home diamond. Kids always look forward to our home tournament that's here in Bemidji, Minnesota. Um, kind of build up to this all year. That this is kind of the one we focus on and gets us ready for our state tournaments. I think our kids are pretty motivated to win, and uh, we've been working at this since uh, early March. And so it's a, it's a long season, and they like to win. As you can see, there are three games on Saturday against Roseau, Devils Lake, and Grand Forks, and on Sunday, two games against Dickinson and the Esox. Let's bump up a level to the 12U team. They will also be participating in the Coca-Cola Classic this weekend. They've been nothing short of busy since late April. This is their eighth tournament of the summer, including fourth in the month of June. Talk about having success. They've won three of them, and Coach Jason Brodina says it's hard to keep them off the diamonds. They made it to the World Series as 10-year-olds and carry the same high expectations this year. These kids are actually, our one downfall is they put too much pressure on themselves to, for success. They expect success and that helps us achieve success when they expect it from themselves. These boys are the ones that push themselves. They had success early at 10 years old when we went to the World Series and they expect nothing less than to get back there again at the 12-year-old level. So two games on Saturday for them against Winnipeg and West Fargo and then two games Sunday against Grand Rapids and they'll wrap up with a tournament game at 1 p.m. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.